Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. And this is going to be my weekly forecast for Monday, June 20, 2022. If you like support John, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And let's get to it. So we're looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, 27 moving average has basically been the bottom of this market for quite some time now. We can see that we tested it right here. This was back in the beginning of April and we tested here, also here, and now we're about to test it yet again. We went all the way up towards $123 a barrel last week, and then it broke down quite significantly. So the fear factor here is that the world economy is slowing down. Uh, Europe is heading, basically is in a recession. China technically is also in a recession, and the United States uh, also technically is also in a recession. There just has to be confirmation because you have to have to have two quarters um, back and back where you have negative growth in uh, GDP. But so we haven't seen seen the second quarter of the year yet. But that is very likely that we will have a recession basically in the world economy. And if that is the case, then demand for oil will most likely also dwindle. And uh, um, and that basically means that this market will tend to fall as um, there will be less demand for oil. Last time we had a global recession was here. This was the build off from uh, 2007 all the way up from roughly uh, $50 all the way up to $137 when it basically peaked in 2008. Then we had the Great Recession and this market just fell off a cliff due to um, demand destruction. So if we have a recession, then probably the next year we will see this market drop significantly to the downside. 20 simple moving average will test it first, then the 50 moving average right here. We also have the top here and that is down at the 86. After that, 200 moving average at the 60, uh, 61 and after that, probably all the way down to roughly $30, $40 a barrel in, in the next half a year if, if, it, if we head towards a recession. So uh, if we look at technical indicators, we can also see that the MACD is about to cross the signal line and that becoming indicating bearish momentum. Last time we saw that was basically here and we had this massive drop. We also had it here. We also had a massive drop and also had it here and also a significant drop, but found support at the 50 moving average. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish and there's a lot of room to the downside in this market. So let's look at natural gas and technically natural gas has um, fallen off a cliff. Uh, we can look at the Fibonacci retracements for natural gas to see whether or not we have basically reached significant uh, levels, uh, retracement levels, you can have, have, we have the 50 here and that's at 6.6. .6, so we are not that far off of the 6.6. And we also have the 220 simple moving average uh, moving in this direction and the double top over here. So this level here is significant. If we break below that, then the 50 moving average will most likely get, uh, get tested. We also have the 61.8 here, which is at 5.9. And um, so around this area here, we'll basically test whether or not we have a bounce in this market or we continue to the downside. Uh, we can uh, look also at the MACD. We can see that it is uh, turning around quite significantly. The last time we had uh, a crossing in the MACD in the weekly chart was right over here and we also saw that we dropped all the way down to the 15 moving average before finding a bottom so crossing this could indicate that we'll have a market that drops uh, roughly um, two dollars more to the downside stochastic is very bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so yes this doesn't really happen uh, without a reason um, uh, there is uh, there probably should be more demand in the, in the United States, but the main reason for this rally here is that Europeans are uh, going to buy uh, uh, U.S. natural gas. 
But at this current stage, they can't. So, uh, so that is probably the main reason why we saw this massive drop of roughly 18% in just one day uh, last week. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button above and see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.